c'est vrai, c'est rien de formidable. Hi everyone, this is Grave, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I had a really rough morning and I decided to vlog. Um, I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and then we're gonna have a talk about how to heal from narcissism from white people, okay? Seulement des caresses et des poils. Tu minotes quand je te touche. Tu fais semblant d'être farouche. C'est vrai que c'est bien formidable. C'est des grattes grattes dans les poids poils. Et c'est bien, c'est bien comme tout. De te caresser mon minou. Comment t'aimer si t'es Pacha Dans les pelages du monde, je glisserai mes doigts. C'est vrai, c'est rien d'extraordinaire. On se l'échouille, on se roule par terre. Je m'approche de toi pour dormir. Tu ronronnes et puis tu soupires. Et j'excite tes vibrisses. Tes rétines deviennent mon calice. Et c'est bien, c'est bien, c'est tout. De te titiller mon minou. Comment t'aimer si t'es machin Dans les pelages du monde, je glisserai mes doigts. Comment t'aimer toi mon c'est l'effeuillement du monde, c'est tes griffes, etc. channel this is grapes and thank you so much for clicking on this video um i went to whole foods because i was craving some framboise they look so good so anyways today i want to talk about how i think we can heal as black people or how i think we can deal with the trauma that we're dealing with that we're seeing online social media and everything from black people dying and from narcissistic white people because if you watched my last video, please go watch it. I'm gonna put it up here so you can go watch it if you didn't. What we established together is that white people are narcissists, right? They are. So in order for us to heal from it, we must know that we're dealing with narcissistic people. So I think when black people have language to describe what they're going through, it makes it easier to process. For example, colorism. Once you know what colorism is, no one can gaslight you anymore. No one can be like, yeah, this, these are just my preferences. You're like, no, 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 you're a colorist, you know? And it's the same thing for narcissistic white people. I think once we all know, and once we, we spread the message, look, what they're doing, we can see through it, it's narcissistic. Then we're gonna be able to like, you know, see clearer. And the goal from having language is for us not to get gaslight because we established again that these people use gaslighting as a way to manipulate us emotionally and put us in shame and put us in this victim mindset. The first thing we have to do, class, what is it? Tell me, spread the word. Spread the word that white people are narcissists. So now that we spread the messages and you're like, okay, grapes, we all know the word, white people are narcissists, what's next? What do we do? Um, how can we actually heal? Because I know a lot of these YouTubers are like, yeah, heal and journal, but not anyone wants to journal. And honestly, it takes a while. So the technique that I'm gonna share with you is fast. I know my generation, Gen Z, we fucking love instant gratification. And EFT is exactly that. Okay, so let, let's just talk a little bit about, about trauma first. So traumas, it's not only something you experience in your mind, it's something that you experience in your body also, okay? Meaning that, um, let's say, for example, trigger warning, let's say I got raped, okay? Um, yes, it was physical, but the emotional trauma is gonna stay with me and sometimes it's gonna get trapped in my trauma. And if you're spiritual, you're gonna see that sometimes it can affect your aura, your vibration, and your overall well-being, mind, body, and spirit. It's the same thing with trauma. I'm gonna share another technique that other narcissistic victims share is the gray rock method, I think it's called. But I think with black people, it's not, it wouldn't be effective. It would be for us to really make ourselves uninterested 
um, so that way people would leave us alone. But I think we've all tried. We've all tried it. But I think one thing that we can take from the growth method is to let go of black outrage. Because black outrage doesn't work. It's very... Like, let's say you go on the internet and you share a video of, people, of a black person dying. You're only making Instagram richer, Facebook richer. Because they like data, they like sharing, they make money off of views, off of clicks, off of impressions. So don't share traumatic videos. But at the same time, understand that sometimes we feel powerless and we're like, if I don't share it, what can we do? And I think we need to organize outside of social media and meet in person to talk about these and not on social media because these platforms, TBH, do not on our side. They're not on our side. And please stop sharing traumatic videos of black death. It's literally trauma porn. Um, just a reminder that white people used to watch lynches and it's the same thing now, okay? so. These people, I think they might get turned on when they see black people dying or black pain. So don't share these videos. So the Gurok method would be around that. So just like make ourselves uninterested. Don't, don't get outraged on the internet. You know, don't share these videos. Um, so then they can leave us alone. But I don't think it's going to be effective. But if you want to try it, okay. So the, the part of the video I really wanted to get into is EFT. EFT is Emotional Freedom Tapping Technique. It's when you tap on specific parts of your bodies that are connected to some meridians. And by saying a sentence, you can just release the energy, release the trauma, um, instead of keeping it in your body. Because that's the thing, black people, we struggle with a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I think that's the best way. I think we can heal from it. Talk about it. Talk about why people be narcissist and then once you're triggered because the thing we're dealing with right now is how do we deal with being triggered like you see someone dying and you're like oh my god what do i do i think you pause the video whatever you're watching and you realize that you're getting triggered and you do some eft eft is often called a psychological acupuncture because again when you tap on certain points of your body it's connected and then you can release the energy. So I'm gonna do an example with you. We're gonna tap on powerlessness. Um, it's something you can do, it works very fast. Please try it. So it goes like this, you say, even though, blink, and you enter whatever you're feeling, you say, I choose to unconditionally and deeply love myself, accept myself. And of course, these phrases, you can add, you can take, you can customize it as you want. But I think you just have to say, I choose whatever to unconditionally love myself. And then the even though, that's what's really important. So we're going to do some, some together so you can see and get the gist of it. It works very fast. Please keep in mind that you can be, you can cry because you're going to leave the emotions because we're not trying to run away from the emotions, right? We're trying to like leave that live through them welcome them but don't like let them sit and um and kind of like rot in our bodies basically you invite them in and then you release so you have some points you have some here you have here let me just go here you have here you have here on top of the brow here okay and you also have here 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 and here I hope that makes sense so we're gonna tap together whatever you're doing pause and then let's do it together you can close your eyes and if I get emotional that's just how it is um, so let's start it's not like this you tap and you're like even though I feel so powerless when I see other black people dying on the news or on social media I choose to deeply and unconditionally love myself even though I don't know how I can help even though I feel so lost and I don't know if change, if change will happen, I choose to deeply and unconditionally love myself. Even though I feel so mad and disappointed in all my white friends and my white uh, close friends and people I don't even know, even though I feel so disappointed in them, I choose to deeply love and unconditionally accept myself. Because I know by accepting myself, I'm going to be able to love and accept others better. Even though 
I feel so anxious sometimes and unsafe and scared and I don't know what you know the future holds for us I choose to deeply and unconditionally love and accept myself even though I feel so outraged and powerless again and lost I choose to deeply and unconditionally love and accept myself even though the anxiety sometimes leaves me paralyzed and the only thing I want to do is scream I choose to deeply and unconditionally love and accept myself. Even though sometimes I get frustrated with other black people online, with how they see things, with how they view things, and with how they process their trauma, I choose to deeply and unconditionally accept them. Because I know they're doing their best and they're just trying to navigate through the system just like me. Even though I feel so disappointed in all these mixed people who accept the wrong job pool and all the other per people who accept the wrong job pool and it makes me feel so mad because I think it's so unjust and unfair. I choose to deeply and unconditionally accept and love myself because I know through loving and accepting myself I'm going to be able to love and accept others. Okay, whew. see I just tapped on a lot. That's basically what you do, and when you do that, what happens is that you release these, okay? You release them, they don't get stuck in your body. You welcome them, you live through them, you accept them, but then you're like, you know what? No, you're not staying in my aura, you're not staying in this. Because again, black people, shit, we store so much on our bodies, on our hearts, and it's not healthy. And it's okay, I'm not saying don't get outraged, don't get mad, because it's okay. Trust me, I am too. But don't share these videos. Don't. It's not. You never see videos of white people dying. I think it's a way to normalize the things, you know? I think it's a way to normalize black death. You know, to make us be insensitive to it and numb. Because death is death. How is it okay for us to see someone dying? And how is it okay for you to film someone dying unjustly and not do anything? That's the real questions we need to ask ourselves. The same way people were like, you know, like, if I was born in the 60s, I would have never let someone get lynched in front of me. Well, it's the same thing happening now, and you're not doing anything. So, I'm just saying, don't share these videos. You're making Instagram return, that's exactly what they want. I think there's other ways to bring awareness. I don't know, talk about it, make a post, write instead of literally traumatizing us especially black kids imagine a 10 year old on instagram and seeing that video like it's too much trauma we don't need that we need to heal and eft is an amazing way for us it's an amazing tool it's right there it works fast it's instant when you do it you'll realize how instant it is do it when you're overwhelmed when you feel powerless when you feel anything you feel tap on it tap on it welcome it but then let it go so they don't get stored in your body and rot and change your vibration and make you stay in that you know in that state of angry all the time because black people were divine we're beautiful we're angels we're strong you know and we're gonna get through this no matter what no matter what get thrown at us we're gonna get through this but to get through this we have to let go of these emotions and of these traumas so we don't pass them to all children like our ancestors passed some things to us. You know, because a lot of us were still healing from trauma that happened in 1850, you know, from slavery. A lot of us, that's what's happening because our ancestors never released those things. They just, you know, suppress them. And you don't suppress emotions, you leave them. I mean, you live through them. Uh, because when you suppress them, that's when chaos happens inside of you and then you don't, you're not balanced and you're not restored. So yes, please share EFT, please if you try it, let me know how it went for you. Um, I'm so happy I, you know, I discovered that tool. And my therapist also approves of it. She thinks it's an amazing tool available for us. And if also you have other tools, other modalities of healing for black people, please leave them in the comment, please. Because I think we're all trying to figure that shit out. But we can figure it out together. Um, I really want my channel to become this, you know, community, that safe space for us where we can talk, where we can be mad, where we can be outraged, but also loving, compassionate to ourselves, to ourselves, because I think we've been compassionate enough 
to white people <laughs> it's been centuries now and they've they always show their true colors and who they are there's this thing that says if someone sh shows you the true colors then that's it that's who they are and white people are constantly showing us um, I've been posting some things on my Instagram so I'm just trying to see my if I'm focused I've Posted, I've posted something on my Instagram and you know what people in the comments are invalidating me I'm asking for reparations and they're like, oh my god I can't believe you're asking for money make your own money. It's like they have no way of Understanding and that's okay. You know like we're not asking anyone to get on our level But we don't have to lower our level to understand them, you know, I think that's over It's 2020 baby if you don't get the revolution and you're not a part of it, then you're not a part of it I hope that makes sense um, yeah let's don't explain yourself to white people don't explain to them why they're racist don't explain to them why they're narcissist spend your time explaining things to other black people so we can all be in the same wavelength you know um, <laughs> okay I think that's it for this video I'm so happy I filmed it please share like comment and subscribe um, and um, yeah that's it I'll see you next time C'est vrai, c'est rien de formidable Seulement des caresses et des poils Tu minotes quand je te touche Tu fais semblant d'être farouche C'est vrai que c'est bien formidable C'est des grattes grattes dans les poids poils Et c'est bien, c'est bien comme tout De te caresser mon minou Comment t'aimer si t'es pas char Dans les pelages du monde, je glisserai mes doigts C'est vrai, c'est rien d'extraordinaire On se l'échouille, on se roule par terre Je m'approche de toi pour dormir Tu ronronnes et puis tu soupires